was just doing whatever he came to do. But when he finished everything that he came to, he swore when he saw that the hour has come. It's when he saw that everything has come to an end. So the coming of Jesus Christ into this world was marked that at the end of the hour, him is to finish the work by dying on the cross. So during the time of sleeping, time of dying, it was the time of finishing wherever he came from. When Boaz finished harvesting, he was to sleep at the end of the heap. It was after correcting everything needed, he was to sit down and rest now. He never slept before correcting the even in the lastest word. He was waiting for the least to be corrected. Then he is to lie down at the end of the heart. When Jesus Christ came into this world, he came and finished everything whatsoever the work was to do. And when he finished the work, he lied down on the cloth. He died on the cloth. Why dying? The work done. Everything has been done. Everything has been finished. But what is the things ever that we are talking that has been finished? It is the correction of one by one of whom him erected before the foundation of the world, he came to die for. We believe that God erected the people before the foundation of the world. And when they erected, were elected, Christ came into this world and died for them. And he died only for for those he purposes to serve. Nobody in addition, nobody in shortage. The exact number erected was the exact number died for. The only people that God erected are the exact number that Jesus Christ came and died for them. So he never came to save everybody, but he came to save the singular erected group of people. They believed in gods interposing themselves in the lives of men, but they had never heard of a God who actually dwelt among men in the flesh. But that's why the scriptures call the mystery of godliness. God was made flesh in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. That's why God called his son Emmanuel. What does it mean? God with us. There's a difference. There's a line drawn between how men perceive God to work and how the gospel declares him. Here's a God who would come and dwell in the flesh in order to work out in the flesh without sin that salvation on behalf of that people that he came to save. And so we see here how furious Nebuchadnezzar gets. Now the sentence falls. All these wise men, and that's true of any, any that are left to themselves, there's nothing but condemnation that awaits. For this cause, the king was angry and very furious and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. Great slaughter was decreed, and the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. And look at here. And they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain as well, because they were put in with this mix. 
that here's where we see the wisdom of God and separating out his own. And so Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom. Where did he get that? No, well, that was by the spirit of God. And again, Daniel is a type of the Lord Jesus Christ that men would have condemned him just like any other criminal. Back when they crucified him on the cross, they thought they were putting to death one of the worst criminals that ever lived. And yet the Lord separated out his son.